Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. In today's A to Z sewing technique series video, I'm gonna be showing you how to finish the raw edges of your fabric using only a sewing machine and an overcast stitch. No serger required. So today I'm using this basic cotton print for my project. And as you can see, it frays quite a bit. And if I were to just sew a seam and leave it raw, probably it is going to shred in the wash and eventually cause a hole on my seam line. So to prevent this, we are going to use an overcast stitch. The first thing you're going to need to be able to do this stitch is an overcasting foot. Now, if you look closely at mine, you'll see that there's a little bar inside of it, and that is what you're looking for in your sewing machine accessories. Now, you can do the stitch without a foot, but what this foot allows you to do is to stitch slightly off the fabric and wrap around the edge slightly um, and keep it from actually like bubbling the fabric whenever you do this. So if your machine came with this type of foot, then it should also have a built-in overcasting stitch that will work well with your foot. So go ahead and be sure that you have that stitch selected. The next thing that you're going to want to do is line up the raw edge of your fabric with the edge of your overcasting foot. If this is your first time using the foot or this stitch, I would suggest doing a few hand cranks and just making sure that your needle is in the right position and is not going to hit um, that middle bar. Um, but if you're happy with the way that it's looking, go ahead and finish stitching your seam line. If you don't have this particular presser foot, that's okay. You can also use a regular presser foot and a three-step zigzag stitch. So something to keep in mind if you're not going to be using an overcasting foot is that that foot is made specifically for when you do your very last stitch, it goes off the edge of the fabric. And if you don't have a foot and you're going off the edge of the fabric, there's a chance that whenever your thread wraps around the raw edge, that stitch can cause the fabric to pucker and not allow it to lay flat any longer. So if you're going to be using a regular presser foot to do this, just make sure that the very last stitch in your three-step zigzag is either going to be just barely on the edge of the fabric or it's going to be just a hair past that raw edge. That way you're not having too much fabric wrapping around and potentially causing that puckering. Okay guys, here's what my overcast stitch looks like. Now depending on the needs of your fabric and whether or not it is fraying a lot, you may decide to shorten or lengthen your stitch width and stitch length. Um, but here you can see how the stitch actually wraps around to the back. You can see those little loops that's catching and that is what is helping protect that raw edge. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.